All right, welcome everybody to another 902 Gaming video. Today I'm going to be going back and doing uh, the series that I had started, uh, well, started making new videos in the first place uh, recently uh, with Arena, uh, and that is to go over the deck lists that were posted on January 31st and then try them out and see how they actually play out. Um, I had planned to do uh, the Smardu deck. Uh, I still plan to do it, um, but then I actually just kind of scrolled down and I saw this sweet enchantment deck um it's playing you know no creatures whatsoever um but it's playing uh it's playing four doomscar it's playing you know the hallowed haunting playing monk class uh and it's playing this card here uh confounding conundrum so when it enters the battlefield you draw a card um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control if that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control they return a land they control to their owner's hand so if you combine this card with Field of Ruin, um, they, they actually they actually go down a land, so that's kind of makes it a strip mine, I guess. Um, it's very interesting. It also hoses ramp pretty good, um, so it's also playing some other land control stuff as well. Um, although I don't know how Lithoform Blight and Confounding Conundrum work together because then they can just return that land and then this falls off. Uh, but you already draw a card from this anyways. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, I, I saw this and I was like, I got to play this one over the Mardu one. I'm going to come back to the Mardu one for sure. Um, but this one here is Esper and seems pretty interesting. Uh, so I had to give it a go. All right. We'll do best of one. Yep. Oh, I should have done ranked. That's okay. I wanted to change it up a little bit and start doing a little bit more ranked, um, and have a, maybe a little bit higher level competition, maybe. I still don't want to do best of three. Um, surprisingly, it didn't take as long as I thought it would in the, the video that I did do best of three. Um, okay. Uh, we can't cast Monk Class, which is unfortunate, but we can cast this. Um, we have Meat Hook Masker and Paladin. Um, yeah, I guess we have to keep it. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. We'll play this. I do like these enchantments that can trip. And they might be better than um, the rune and the, the Hallowed Haunting deck that was playing the runes. But we'll see. Basically, it turns this land colorless or into a pain land. Yoink. Okay. So we got the turn four haunting. Provided we survive. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. That card's probably going to be a problem for me. Well, I think I'm going to target that. Not the creature. Maybe I should have got rid of the creature. I could have still with the Meat Hook Masker, but get rid of the enchantment. There we go. Now we'll get two for one. All right, I got the blue mana now. Um... This will probably be. Oops, I just need one. There we go. Fortunately, I think I'm just playing against somebody with their starter deck. Sorry, dude. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Um. Play this. Hmm. Does this do? So every creature that he plays after this gets plus two plus zero in haste. Um, what's this do? Okay. Um, 
I think I'm just going to take the chance to cast Hallowed Haunting. And then I can drop both of these next turn. So the second spell you cast. So this will... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. Am I dead? Nope. <laughs> Almost, though. Yeesh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, look at that. They, they would have killed me, too. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Monk class. Get a token out there. Um, so the second spell. Uh, so we're going to cast this. Target that. Draw a card. Another Hallowed Haunting. Um. Oh, wow. This is pretty good. Monk class is pretty good. You return it. You can bounce a uh, enchantment to your hand. That's interesting. Um, I don't think it'll matter, but we're going to cast this anyway, just in case they play two creatures next turn or something. We'll get rid of that. All right. Wow. Monk class is way better than I thought it was. No. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't die. Okay. Um, they're at twenty. How do I kill them? Um, let's see here. Um, so if I bounce this and replay it, that's four mana. Um. I can. I can bounce and replay it. Get another token. That'll be 12 damage. Um, I don't think I have enough. Uh, yeah, let's tap this and this. Um, I think we'll bounce this, and then we'll cast it again. I don't think it's enough, but I think if they had a, um, yeah, just not quite enough. Oh, they need to draw a shock. Nope, nothing. <laughs> okay. Did they get the shock? Nope. Good game. Okay. Well, that was close. <laughs> that uh, turn after they played. Ah, shoot. The goblin that gives hey, creatures with. Or gives all, all of your creatures that comes in after it plus two plus oh in haste. Woo. It's dangerous. All right. Play another one. That was kind of the matchup that you want to play against. You want to play against creature decks. Uh, I don't... Oops. No. Um, that's Curse of, Curse of Leeches for life gain and Katilda for life gain as well on the sideboard. And you also have Meat Hook, Meat Hook Massacre in the main deck as well. Um, okay. Well, we're going to keep this. Play the Warlock class. Play this. Well, I can have two choices. I can play this tapped. I think I'll just play this out first. Okay. Now I can't cast this. 
Let's have haste. Mm, unfortunately, I do have to play that tapped. Uh, yeah, this we're doing. I guess I could have foretold Doomscar. Both kind of dangerous. I don't have to get rid of that. I th I think that's the right choice. I think that's the right choice. I guess if I had Dooms had foretold Dooms card, then I could have killed both of them. Yeah, this was that was why I got rid of this card. Would have been uh, would have done a little bit more damage this turn. Wait, why did they tap all their mana? Oh, they foretold the card. Okay, I see. But they also played a land already this turn, so. All right. Um, I have another warlock class. We have hollowed, hollowed hunting. Well, might as well start getting the train rolling now. I'm going on that. If you ask Canadian dairy farmers, what is it? I think it's uh huh. Okay. Another hallowed haunting. Um, okay, we'll cast Warlock class. Essentially, this deck is just all, except for Doomscar, it's all enchantments all the time. Um, I'll play this too, I guess. Get another one. This would have been a good deck to have a form Blight, I think. They're playing a lot of gold cards. I guess we'll target that. This can be dangerous. Well, I thought it was power and not just that it's only the number of wizards. Okay. Whenever it attacks. This is the one that I thought this one was. Okay. That's fine. Uh, play lands. Mm. Mm. Uh, I can Doomscar here. Um, or I can Hallow Haunting. Um... They might be playing... Yeah, we'll play this instead. Let's try to get some damage in. Maybe able to bounce. Yeah, you could have blocked and killed it. Yep. What's this thing doing? Oh, Kane's flying. Okay. Yep. Okay, I see we already have very little blue mana in the deck. I suppose you have Field of Ruin for that. Um... 
can I... I can Fiend Hook Massacre, but I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. I think this is all I can do. Get rid of all the creatures, I guess. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that's creature died. Yep. Yep. So far, I like this deck. This deck was much better than the Curses deck that I was playing before. Uh, I think Circle and Confinement. Um, I don't think the deck, the Curses deck, was playing Borrowed Time at all. Um, I think I'd suggest a Warlock class in it. It's very interesting, though. Um, we'll activate this. Look at the top three, get a card. They may have some, they likely have counter spells somewhere. That's interesting. I'm going to take it. Hmm. They potentially have a counter spell here. Uh, I haven't seen any, but that doesn't mean they don't have any. We'll try bait this way. Let's see what happens. Could have taken the live form blight, I guess. Activate here. With this, um, oh man, I guess I take that. Okay. I can't cast one of these. Uh, no, I still couldn't have. No, I only would have been able to cast it if I took the Lithoform Blight. But I wanted to kind of try this combination, Field of Ruin and Confounding Conundrum out. To see what happens with it. Okay. Another wizard. I could do draw. And then every spell that I cast after. Wow, this card actually is way better than I thought it would be in this deck. Um, because I want to do this, I'm going to target that card. Yep. I want to see if the thing with Confounding Conundrum actually works. <laughs> we'll get another... I'll be getting... I'll uh, get a... Planes, I guess. Um, we'll both kind of do the trick, right? Double Hallowed Haunting is pretty good. Not sure, but I distinctly remember somebody saying that this card was no good at all. It wasn't me. <laughs> I just didn't think it would be as powerful as it potentially could have been. Uh, we'll go to combat. Munch. Uh, what can I return? Oh, I guess it's only if they play... At another land enter the battlefield. Oh, okay. And that doesn't maybe work as as I thought it did. Um I can bounce. Um hmm. I can bounce the confounding conundrum, but I'm not going to. I think it's just game over if they can't do anything. I think maybe now I could have activated it. And then they would have had to bounce a land back. Potentially. Yeah, good game. So they need two lands to enter the battlefield. It's not just the first one. Okay, so that makes sense. Not as broken as I thought it was. 
It is a good uh, cantrip spell, though. Uh, let's go over the deck list here. Uh, whoop. Go this way. It's much easier to view. Um, the only thing I would say, it seemed like there was not near enough. Um, I would cut at least a swamp, if not two, and put the uh, um, shipwreck march, shipwrecked, shipwreck marsh in there. Uh, hmm. Maybe even put it clear. I need a little bit more blue mana in the deck for sure. You really want to. Like, you really want blue mana early. Uh, so, at least the few games that I played there, I had this was in my hand almost every game. Um, but yeah, it seems really good. The deck seems really good. I don't really know what to change on it. Um, I'm sure it's mostly just with the numbers. I don't know if this card is as good as I think it is. Um, it's a good cantrip for sure. It does mess around with their plan more than the, the runes do. Um, so, I like it for that. Uh, it can also turn um, any of the, the creature lands into, you know, nothing, basically. So it helps with those as well. Although I don't think they're as uh, powerful now without the, the uh, Faceless Haven around. Um, that was one of the big problems for this deck anyway, was creature lands. So with um, Faceless Haven being removed, I think they take a smaller role in the format. Um, but yeah, this deck seems to be really good against aggressive decks, for sure. Um, yeah, I... Let's tweak the numbers here. I probably want four of this. Uh, this is one of the best cards I think in the format. Um, potentially, I think I think it's really good. Anyway, I think it's good in any deck that you play it in. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know what else to to say about the deck. There's not really a lot of room for maneuvering. Maybe this for this. Um, maybe even play by invitation instead of. Uh, maybe instead of Doomscar, uh, by invitation only, um, it may be some number of those, uh, over Doomscar, maybe, uh, Doomscar is very good against, you know, the hyper, hyper aggressive decks, uh, but by invitation only can also in like matchups where you saw the, uh, they had like two or three creatures out. And if I had more than that, I could have just made it for however many creatures they have and still kept some and not to destroy all of them. Uh, it, although it still functions as the Doom Scar, uh, you know mo most players don't have more than thirteen creatures out. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this deck. Um, I think it's pretty sweet. I think you should give it a try. There's only a, I mean, obviously Hallowed Haunting, but Meat Hook Massacre as well. The only Mythics in the deck. Uh, the rest is all Commons and Uncommons. Um, I don't know if this is worth spending a rare wild card on or not. Uh, there's probably better enchantments. Uh, maybe not in blue. Um, but Monk class was way overperformed, I think. Um, the fact that you can bounce an enchantment and replay it again, uh, that's probably stronger than this card. So, but anyways, uh, that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and enjoyed the series. Um, and I will see you later.